So I'm at a store today and they're like, we don't know where the case is, it's running warm. And I'm like, oh, okay. And they're like, we don't know what we're doing. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing either. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we got a case. The manager has no idea what it is. Just something's running warm in the store. So what do you do? Well, if you got a controller like this, you go to the alarm log. Okay, you go to cleared alarms because there's no alarms currently. And we see this high temperature on this dairy case come over and over again, right? So we're just gonna click on it, it's B20. B20 dairy case, critical, seems to be at temp now. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at it. Now, we're gonna go look for this case. So we're in the machine room and we're just gonna look around and oh, there's our little, you know, this is our, you know, map, refrigeration map, so B20. There's one, two, there's two B20s, B20A, B20B. So what was it again? Ah, I didn't really remember. I'm just kinda, you know, whatever. If we look down here, B20A, it's 10 degrees warmer than B20B. Okay, so we're gonna go take a look at that. Really quick, it is very, very unlikely that it is a rack issue because it seems to be very specifically isolated in that case. But while we're up here, we're just gonna check column of a cigarette receiver level all right so those two look all right no oils going off the compressor seems to be running all right we're going to check over here right up here we're going to look and uh, we're going to just take a look condenser condenser is too high but there's a bunch of motors out and uh you know anyway so there's that, and then over down there, we're gonna see uh, suction compressions about good. So anyway, we're gonna go down and check out the case. So if you look in here, the case thermostat actually says it's a little bit colder than what it's reading. So we're gonna test this temperature probe, and it feels cold in here too. So you can see I put my temperature probe in a cup of ice water to calibrate. Same with this other one over here. So the reason I'm doing that is because the in-case probes are reading about what I want them to be. Now those in-case those in-case probes are historically in unreliable, but they're still a tool. It's a tool you can use. So because both of them seem to be measuring what I want the case to be at. It so it's my theory that let's say one is too low and one is too high. One is three degrees too low and one is three degrees too high. Now you have the six degree difference and that case is gonna satisfy awkwardly. So let's find out. So now if we go down here, we can see in a cup of ice water, right? It's still measuring 38. So that probe needs an offset, that's for sure. So, you know, we're gonna go take a look and we're gonna, we're gonna now offset it. So the other probe, and a cup of ice water measures 28. So again, you got almost 10 degrees of a differential between the two probes. That's not okay. So we're gonna offset them. So I know that those probes are relatively new. So, because I know the people who put them in. So I'm thinking that, all right, maybe they forgot to offset it or whatever. We're gonna try putting in an offset, see if there is any offset. So. On the B Dairy, there's a negative four. There should really be a zero degree on that one. So I'm putting a zero, and then a one above it, this one should actually have the negative four. So it looks like what might have happened, maybe, I don't know, you know, you can't necessarily get to the bottom of everything, but maybe someone went to put negative four into A, and they accidentally put it into B, thus offsetting it very, you know, very poorly, obviously. So I'm actually gonna put this as negative five. So I wanted about 33 degrees in a cup of ice water. So let's see. So 33.2, so that's not bad. And we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go look down here. 33.2, 32.6. Those are pretty decent. Those are pretty decent. So we're gonna take those cups out and uh, I think that's gonna be it for this. So kind of a rudimentary one today. Figured I would show you guys. Anyway, I'm just posting, you know, like 
it's just the basic thing, you know, like if your temperature probes aren't right, you know, positive or negative, it's going to hurt your system. You're going to get alarms, you know. So I just figured I would show it because it's kind of like a basic thing that's overlooked. You know, a lot of guys, they might have tore this thing apart, you know, dug into it and everything. And it's really just the temperature probes. And I, I just I should mention, I did check airflow in here before I did this because I always check airflow first. And it has proper and fine airflow. So that's what led me to go, okay, well, let's just question those temperature probes, right? So I looked at the references in the case and I saw, you know... Those references seem to be indicating that those probes might be reading a little off. So anyway, my theory is what happened is somebody put in this probe and put the offset on the wrong one, potentially, or somebody put in that other probe and put the offset on the wrong one, potentially. I don't really know, but I know that these probes are, those are PT-1000 probes. This store is a very, very old store. So if you see a PT-1000 in this store, it means that it was newly put in. And because of the way that the wire is, the wire is older, you're gonna have a higher, so typically if I had like a five degree differential, I would replace the probe. But because I know the system in the store, I know that the wire runs are very old and um, you're gonna have this like swing. You're gonna have this odd differential. Um, you're gonna have more resistance through the wire runs, which is gonna cause you to read something a little different at your probes. Just because this door was retrofitted from an older type of EMS system, as far as I know, they did not actually run new wire runs. They actually just use the existing ones and they're just offsetting, you know, whatever it is uh, on the actual, you know, Danfoss controller. So you run into these higher resistive, you know, issues and, you know, off by three or four degrees or whatever. So you gotta kind of know your store or whatever. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Uh, please comment below if you got anything you wanna talk or something, you know, whatever. Anyway, like, subscribe and all that. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it.